Mercerin. I'm a licensed Burmese python hunter in the Florida Everglades. Along with python hunting, I also volunteer and give educational presentations to different organizations uh, about the python problem. Today I actually did a presentation with Girl Scout Troop 525 in Miramar, Florida. Shout out to Anne and the girls, thanks for having me. I want to apologize for the mess on the stage. Um, sorry. Uh, so, alright, let's move on. So I used just about every snake in my collection for the presentation tonight, so as I put it put them away, I'm going to just give a quick little recap of each snake. Uh, and I have a very special little uh, treat tonight too that's going to help put everything all together. So let's go ahead and get started. I've already spent the time uh, cleaning and prepping all the cages, so we're all set to just kind of put them away. So let's see what we got here. So the first one we started with tonight was this one right here. So this one is a red rat snake, also known as a corn snake. You can see beautiful red colors. Awesome little snakes. These are usually the pets most people get when they get snakes. They're very easy to, to raise, temperate, easy to handle. These are great little snakes. So this is Wego. So here we go. Put him away. These are also the greatest escape artists there are, so cannot leave this cage unlocked at all. Okay, so okay, so the next one we had was this one right here. The male, about uh, I think about six or seven years old. Uh, he's fully grown. Won't get much bigger than this. This is a great handling snake. Very docile. Okay, get this one put away. Oh. Next comes Frick and Pratt. This is Boa number one, the female. She's only a little over two years old. You can see how quick they grow. She was only a few inches when I got her. Alright, her put away. And then I have her sister. I don't usually bring this one, but the troop leader had a uh, used to have red tail boas, and uh, she always wanted to uh, see a albino boa, so I brought my albino boa. This is a sister to the other one, both from the same mother. And she'll let go of the bag. You can see there she is. She's getting ready to shed, so probably in the next day or two. All right, so the next one, the next one is one of my newest snakes. I recently just received this from the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission to use in my presentation. We are still getting to know each other. Uh, I don't believe that the previous owner handled her very much, so she's a little bit skittish, and uh, unfortunately she decided to uh, relieve herself during my presentation tonight on stage, so she is still a little bit scared. So we're going to hopefully not have that same challenge here as we get her up to put her away.
kind of column right now, so you can see here she is. This is a reticulated python. This is the longest snake in the world. Not this particular snake, but this species. She's about 11 feet. Actually, well, she was very calm. So you can see here she is. She's got some really gorgeous colors on her. She's very wiry, and uh, I'm just going to get her put away. So now on to my tree. So before I get out my final snake, uh, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission was nice enough to let me borrow one of their new uh, Burmese hatchlings uh, to use in my demonstration to kind of show people the difference between when pythons are born, how big and cute and you know little they are, to how big they get when they're full grown. So here's the great little treat that I have. I feel very honored to be able to have this. I definitely don't want to give it back. So here we go. This is a little baby Burmese python. This is this year's hatchling. They are velvety soft. If you never thought you would fall in love with a snake, these things are gorgeous. And as babies, they are very, very docile. So the trick of the thing is, is people see these little snakes and fall in love with them because they're just so adorable, they're so tiny, they're just incredible. I would want a hundred of these. Unfortunately, they don't stay this size. So in one year, this snake will be about three to four feet long. In two years, it'll be six to seven. And then in three years, this snake will easily be over eight feet long. So here it is as a baby. Let me go ahead and show you what happens after a few years. They start small. And then people don't realize what the end result is. That these snakes can just grow to just unbelievable size in a very short period of time. And if you're not ready for it, definitely be in a lot of trouble. So this is pretty much a full grown Burmese. Now this is an albino green Burmese, but still a Burmese python. So you can see they start very small, 18, 20, 24 inches, and then after a few years of eating and consuming, the little tiny snakes become gigantic monsters. Hey, no, come here. Come back here. So you can see they start small, but in no time at all that little that little guy becomes this big. So, you can see, it doesn't take much. But those little tiny things become dangerous, dangerous snakes. In the right hand, these are great creatures. Very docile. Alright, let's go ahead and get her put away. She's heavy. Phew. So there you go. Thank you, brothers. So again, you can see the size difference here of 
a little tiny baby that was just born just a few weeks ago to what they become when they're full grown. So anyway, hope you enjoyed my collection and uh, the snakes and uh, I look forward to talking to everybody again soon. Thanks a lot.